Talking folks, nice to see you again on this first Wednesday. Well, welcome to the ladies on the phone. Hope you're all well. As usual, the words for today are in the description box below. And if you want to contact us, Ian's details are there also. The peace of Christ be with us all. Shall we say together? No one has seen God. God's only Son, who is nearest to the Father's heart, has made him known. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hear us, Shepherd of Israel, you who made Joseph like a flock, you who sit in throne between the cherubim, shine forth. Awaken your night, come and save us. Restore us, O God, make your face shine on us, that we may be saved. Today's psalm is Psalm 15, Psalm 15. Lord, who may dwell in your sanctuary, who may live on your holy hill, he whose walk is blameless and who does what is righteous, who speaks the truth from his heart, and there's no slander on his tongue, who does his neighbour no wrong, and casts no slur on his fellow man, who despises a vile man, but honours those who fear the Lord, who keeps his oath even when it hurts, who lends his money without usury, and does not accept a bribe against the innocent. He who does these things will never be shaken. Shall we say the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, power and the glory forever. Amen. Continue through Mark's Gospel, or on Mark 15. Verses 33 to 47. At the sixth hour, darkness came over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, Lama, Sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of those standing near heard this, they said, Listen, he's calling Elijah. One man ran, filled a sponge with wine vinegar, put it on a stick, and offered it to Jesus to drink. Now leave him alone. Let's see if Elijah comes to take him down, he said. With a loud cry, Jesus breathed his last. The curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And when the centurion who stood there in front of Jesus heard his cry and saw how he died, he said, Surely this man was the Son of God. <coughs> Some women were watching from a distance. Among them were Mary Magdalene. Mary, the mother of James the Younger, and of Joseph, and Salome. <coughs> In Galilee, these women had followed him and cared for his needs. Many other women who had come up with him. In Jerusalem were also there. <coughs> it was preparation day. And that is the day before the Sabbath. So as evening approached, Joseph of Arimathea 
prominent member of the council, who was himself waiting for the kingdom of God, went boldly to Pilate and asked for Jesus' body. Pilate was surprised to hear that he was already dead. Summoning the centurion, he asked him if Jesus had already died. When he learned from the centurion that it was so, he gave his body to Joseph. So Joseph bought some linen cloth, took down the body, wrapped it in linen, and placed it in a tomb dug under the rock. Then he rolled the stone against the entrance of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, so where he was there. <clears throat> Shall we pray together? God, our hope, we rejoice that you became flesh and made your dwelling among us and we long for your return. As we wait for your coming again, and for the end of sorrow, pain, and death, we are bold to ask in the name of Jesus for your kingdom to be known among us now. Lead us by the groaning of your spirit to pray for ourselves and our suffering world. For now, we are time of silent prayer, where we can pray for the things which are on your heart. We pray in silence. we pray together. Dear Lord God, for whom all people wait and search, even when they do not know it, open the eyes of the blind that they might see you. Open our eyes that have been closed by fear or blinded by self-pity, that we might see you, even in the anxieties and uncertainties of our time. And in seeing you, be both comforted by your presence and made uncomfortable enough to seek to serve you. Who is and was and is to come. Amen. Eternal God, you have set before us the great hope that your kingdom will come on earth and have taught us to pray for its triumph. Make us ready to thank you for the signs of its dawning and to pray and work for the perfect day when your will shall be done on earth as it is in heaven. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> May God himself, the God of truth, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit soul and body, be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. Amen. Thanks for listening to our prayers again today, God. Hopefully we'll see you all again soon. Bye for now. <laughs>